Previously on The Potentialists. So you're getting a really big bang for your buck. The timing is right. If there's any time for us to do this, it's not. So the core, the group, we have it. You're not allowed to do this anymore. We can do stuff to you. You have no Man. idea. Dude, what happened? Why are you bleeding? Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. This episode contains mild, violent content, which may be too intense for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. This is construction at Bowen. We need to buy some fucking, uh, 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 proper tools around here. What something hit you in the head? The bigger. proper term for the tool that had a nasty run in with his head was, in fact, a power drill. You see what happens when you ask us to move your car, man? It's all your fault. Yeah, Secret. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing work, and he and I know better, so we use something we shouldn't be using wet feet, toolbox, no stand. No good. Bad. Badness. Not madness. Badness. And after a quick bandaging. Hey, what's up, man? This is uh, the life of a carpenter, man. You're going to get some bumps and bruises sometimes. I can't see. Hey, I'm blind. You look like a violated unicorn. Huh? A violated unicorn. <laughs> There's a website you can go to and send money for the violated unicorns. And even though this unicorn lost one horn, Got you! <laughs> That's your bird. I didn't have to get you. You got yourself. <laughs> what the hell happened, man? <laughs> you getting old? No, I, you getting I, crippled? I, I was like, uh, Sergio, you hold that corner. I'm gonna, I'm gonna nail this one in. So I went to step on the toolbox, and the whole toolbox and everything flipped on me, and the, and the screw gun went right in my head. The screw gun? Mm-hmm. Was sticking in my head like this. I was like, damn, and then blood just started pouring. Happy birthday, Sergio! Whoa, whoa, Happy dude. birthday, man! Happy birthday! I'm not going to take that. Oh. What's up with you? It's my birthday. Oh, dude, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Happy birthday, man. Shit, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Both you guys are dangerous. I'm going to prohibit you guys from hanging out together. And when you guys do this, Yes, both of you. Don't give me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that wicked smile. Yeah, sure. There was a big risk there. Dude, Those are risks. Guys. What was the risk? The risk was apparently these guys just didn't learn anything from Ralphie's accident. I'm blind. So I am driving in Val's car. I like to steal people's cars now. It is Elder's birthday. What does one do on birthdays? Uh, one celebrates by having a cake. If you guys remember, there was uh, one episode way back when when I was challenged by LJ to bring an ice cream cake back to the studio. I did, and I brought back a Snickers football-shaped ice cream cake. Ever since then, it has been a recurring theme to mention a football ice cream cake. So my mission, and I've chosen to accept it, is to get LJ a football-shaped Snickers ice cream cake. Maybe I'll get a princess ice cream cake if they don't have a football ice cream cake. Let's see what they've got. Unfortunately, there are no football ice cream cakes to be had, but plenty of ice cream, other cakes. And there she is. 21. Is that one of the infinite candles or something? Gosh, I hope so. That would be funny. It's <laughs> a do. weird candle arrangement. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. You know, a lot of times we're too busy in our lives to take a couple minutes out or a couple moments out to support our family, much less our children. I think that if we spend a little bit more time focusing on the right things early on in our, ch in our children's lives, then when they grow older, they'll respect you more, appreciate you more, and want to spend time with you more. Here at uh, Devin's graduation, waiting for the big day, and we're here with Devin's mom. Hey, Saki, what's going on? How are you doing? Hello, good morning. Excited. Doing good, yes, very excited. Hi. How are you? Big day, big day. I think I'm more excited than she is. Show it up, 
show it to everybody. Right. The world wants to know. I'm so proud of my proud little, daddy. My little student. Uh, I'm Serge. I'm Devin's dad. Okay. Pleasure to meet you. Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> nice and you to are? meet you, Dr. Jimenez. Make it happen with Boa. One of the reasons that I love Big Papa is because he's always paying attention to his girls. He always takes time out to go celebrate their accomplishments and cuddle with them and, you know, just, just do special things with them. You are the best. I am so proud of you. I'm so happy. Are you happy? Of course I'm happy. Dad's super excited. Loving it. Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?